What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are in Conway, Arkansas at Copart and we're picking up something. I say we because I've got a passenger with me right over there. Monkey Wrench Mike. Who is not responsible for the next 10 minutes of the video. He's responsible for absolutely <laughs> everything that's about to happen in this video. He found a Maserati Quattroporte, a 2009, and I believe it is either an S or a GT. It has the red valve covers, and it's the 4.7 engine. This does not have the F1 transmission. I would not even consider it if it had the F1 transmission. This has the good ZF transmission, and it's got the good engine. So here's the thing. This car was found by <laughs> Monkey Wrench Mike. Woo, woo, woo. It was really cheap. <laughs> yeah. Really cheap. $4,500. That was the buy it now. Yeah. $4,500 buy it now for an 09 Maserati Quattroporte. <laughs> There's a couple things to keep in mind here. And one of them is it was salvaged. Yeah. A long time ago. It has a rebuilt title now. So... It's a prior salvage title car. Next, it's got more miles than any Maserati I've ever seen. 122,000 miles on the odometer. <laughs> and it's $4,500. <laughs> what could go wrong? Huh. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have asked that because we're sitting here at the Copart yard right now and we're waiting to pick it up. Now, just to be safe, I brought my trailer with me. I've got the truck, we've got the trailer, but I've also got my dealer tag. Mm -hmm. So we could attempt to drive it about 300 miles back to Oklahoma. Or we could throw it on the trailer nope. and nope. no, we need to drive it. We're driving it. We're driving it. Okay. We're going to try to drive a high mileage salvaged Maserati. Cheap Maserati. Sight unseen. Mm -hmm. He said I had to get it. He, did, he said I had it. He's like, you got to get it. You got to get this car. He found it. it. So whatever is about to happen, this is all on him. So why don't we, uh, well, we're going to sit here and wait until the Maserati comes out. But uh, we'll start this back up when they bring it out. And we'll see exactly what Mike got us into. The fun will begin. Or yeah. Heartbreak, one of the two. So go subscribe to his channel. There's links down below. <laughs> yeah, definitely go subscribe to his channel. Oh, wow. I didn't just see that. Okay. Yeah, we'll oh. be... <laughs> We'll be right back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. She looks beautiful. Mike thinks she looks beautiful. I think... She's gorgeous. I'm not sure what I think. Oh, the front bumper's got damage. Maybe he could just leave it there. We'll see if he could just leave it there. We'll go look at it. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab a booster pack real quick because I can promise you we're going to need it. So what do you think? Is it everything it. you hoped it would be? I love it! I'm excited. <laughs> He's excited. I'm not. I, I'm... I, I just... I don't have the best feeling about this car. It's beautiful! You know, I... a piece of the bottom, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. It's not bad. So far, anyway. Oh, Pininfarina. It's a uh, it's a Cadillac Alante. Sort of. Way more <laughs> sort of. A little scrape down the rocker over there. Flat tire, like I told you. Yeah. I knew it would have a flat. I brought the compressor because I just knew it was going to have a flat tire. There's your badge for the 4.7. That's the engine you want. Honestly. Oh, I love it. This isn't bad. This is beautiful. I thought the tires are good. It's got four slammed tires. Whatever that is, sure. Woo! Oh, wow. Look at that beautiful, clean interior. Oh, the seats recline, too. That's an option. Wow. It's loaded. It's got PPF. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, uh... What happened there? Oh, wow. Oh, good lord. Yeah, okay. 
Why is it? Is it sticky? No, it's not sticky. It's it's like sealed with something. They shellacked it. Oh, that's that's really that's in bad shape. Here's all your buttons that fell behind the dash. <laughs> oh, it works. It's got power. Oh well, give it a go. Oh God, it is hot in here. There's your paddle shifters. The key is blue like the car. It's got money. Okay. Ashes everywhere. Lots of blue on the interior too. Surely it's not gonna run, right? She's alive! Wow. Every light on the dash is on. Oh, yeah. Check engine. TPMS. Traction control. ABS. You got a scanner. Yeah. Let's move it up out of the way. Okay. You think the AC works? Oh, it's misfired. Bad. Real bad. Yeah. The important window works. See, you're winning. Oh, wow. All right, well, lots of ashes. Air conditioning. Ooh, this is hot. Hot. Okay. I mean, it drives. Sort of. Air conditioning? I don't I don't think so. I'm surprised it started, honestly. Yeah. Uh I don't know if the hood works or not. She is uh she's misfiring pretty heavy. I'm gonna let you do the honors. I don't know where it is. I don't either. I've never had a uh, Ferrari before. Oh. oh. You ready? Sure. Oh, yeah. That's, uh. Hey. That's a great sign. Free screwdriver. That's a great sign. Yeah. That's, uh. She's, she doesn't sound the greatest, does she? She doesn't sound... Oil looks clean, though. It's a spark plug. Mismatched coils. Could just be a coil, right? Yeah, for sure. It could, could be. Okay, well, should we throw it on the trailer? Or do you want to try to drive it. You gotta try to drive it. Okay. You want to or not? It closes. If it'll hold air, the yeah, let's, will hold air. Let's see if it'll hold air. We'll throw some air in this tire real quick, guys. And then I guess we'll see if we can't take her on the road. See if she'll do something for us here. The trunk doesn't open. Nope. And it doesn't have any screws. Oh, she's not running good. We'll put some gas in her. Oh, it's been sitting. This thing's been sitting a long time. I think it's been sitting. Yeah. I do. I think she's been sitting a while. Can I do this? Yeah, yeah. Blue uh, calipers, too, oh, to match no. the color of the car. Yeah. This is beautiful. It's really not half bad. There's a little... A little scraping. What kind of tire is this? Oh, it's the Kunimoto. The Kunimoto F22 Forceland. Okay. It's, sure. How much do you want in here? Uh, probably like 35. It's got one. We're almost there. Let's air this up, guys, and uh, I guess we'll see what she does. What is this you found? Yeah, it's, it's gold. What is that? Fiber optics. Oh. There's fiber optics running through the car, probably for the star ceiling. Oh. They probably Ooh. have one of those like star ceilings. Oh wow, the books. Look at all oh my. Oh wow. Okay. Oh. There we go. Receiver.
seats chewed up by mice. Very nice. And a CD. Yeah. You can tell how long it's been sitting. Yeah. From this, uh, I knew this had been sitting a long time. She'd been sitting a long time. All right. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here and to uh, someplace different where we're not taking up their space. I got a dealer tag. Unfortunately, there's no screws in it. So oh. I got you a radio. Here's the key to the, okay. your radio's in the cup holder. Okay. It's already on, so I can yell at you. Okay, great. Uh, maybe we could navigate to a nearby Walmart Supercenter. I think yeah. that would be a great place to... Yeah. Be able to fiddle around with this a little bit. Okay. Okay, I'll follow you. Yes. Yeah, I'll follow you. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'll radio you if I have a problem and you can pull over in front of me. You're not gonna have a problem. <laughs> it no, missed. Perfect. I need gas too. Let's just yeah. let's find a Walmart. Okay. And and we'll go from there. I'll throw this tag. Hell, I'll just throw the tag in the seat, I guess. I don't have anywhere to put it. We need screws. Testing, one, two, three. All right, here we go. Let's hope we don't have any overheating problems or anything like that. This is, this thing is, boy, it's just everything I hoped it would be. Test, 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 can you hear me? Make sure he can hear us here. Roger that, there's a Walmart eight miles away. Can you make it eight miles? Probably need a gas station before then. Okay, there should be one on the way there. Okay. All right, let's roll. All right, you heard him. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna drive this thing with no gas, check engine light, sight unseen, and we're in Arkansas. This is well. I'll tell you this. Well, now it's misfiring like crazy again. We need to get gas in this thing ASAP. Oh boy, the suspension sounds really nice. I don't think you guys could hear, but it sounded kind of crunchy to me. Oh. I think there's a wheel falling off. Oh, wow. Um, it shifts, I think. Check engine, check headlights. We're doing almost 40. I don't know guys this is very very sketchy all right stop number one I don't it feels like something is coming apart on the front end here I think it's coming from the left it, it doesn't feel right at all boy now she's misfiring like crazy and come on yeah you might watch yourself you're gonna get hurt he needs gas. I need gas. This front end sounds absolutely awful. Good Lord. Okay, well, yeah, I know, I know, I, I know. You are in really, really rough shape. Really rough shape, good Lord. We need to get all this crap off of here too. Okay, well. I guess we'll put some fuel in her and uh, see if maybe it runs a little better. I seriously doubt it. Well, things are uh, things are going really, really well so far. We're off to a wonderful start, don't you think? Of course. Oh We're yeah. The maxi sis. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna help. I, I think we got. I think we got some bigger problems. Yeah. I do. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, I noticed, I noticed on the way here that it was kind of going wherever it wanted to. It was kind of whoop, 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 and I was like, oh, that's nice. And you hit the smallest bumps in the road, and you hear the loudest bangs coming from the front suspension, like clank, clank, bang, bang, bang. And I'm like, huh, well, that's safe, I'm sure. Okay. It's safe to drive 300 miles. Okay, Mike, can you hold this camera down by the tire? Yes, I would love to. Okay, let's see if you guys can... These... <laughs> I hope the movement. Now let's let's go over to the other side, because maybe the other side is better, right? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Is there even a tie rod? <laughs> I, on it? I I don't know if it's got tie rods at all. 
Um, it's it's not driving. We're not. We're not. I'm not. You could drive. You want to drive it? You could drive it. Yeah, it's a death threat. <laughs> Hey, you picked I'm so it. so mad you're making you, me drive it home. I had so many people say this is my retribution for the F-150 that I gave you. Um, <laughs> could be accurate. Could be accurate. Uh, the passenger side window does work, but not with a switch. You just <laughs> push it down, pull it up. The rest of the windows do work. Air conditioning does not work. Misfires like crazy. There's missing inner fender liners. Tie rods are missing. Tires look good though. Um, even the sunroof works. Look at that. Yeah. I got the sunroof to open. It's a beautiful car. It's... Yeah. If you look past all the muck. What is this? Oh. A O-N-N... -N. I guess it's a battery bank. Free battery bank. Okay. So, oh, what is this? Lights to something. Oh, a credit card. I'm telling you, this is a repossession, I think. What do you do? You think? Well, there's a name on the box of all of your uh, manuals. Maserati Roadside. This is invalid, guys. Somebody tried using this recently because it's by the, yeah. the... Somebody's like, yeah, you got a 20-year-old Maserati. Uh, need to get some roadside service. It won second place in something. That could very well be first. <laughs> okay. I'll bet That it. first was blue. No, first is always red. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> first, if, if it got first place in anything, it was the biggest hoopty in the car show. <laughs> this, the, it's, it's really, really, it's rough. It's, it's real rough. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, let's plug in the, uh, the scan tool, tool, shall we? It says hold and pull down. What? They did not. Oh, look at this. A cubby hole to hide stuff. That's. <sighs> okay. Did They did not block off the OBD, po the OBD port, did they? It says unscrew. <laughs> the, the OBD port is screwed in. Because there's nothing that ever goes wrong and you would never <laughs> need it. <laughs> Oh boy, I'll bet it's in that toolbox in the back. Here's something. What is this? Mike, Mike already found it. I'll bet that. I'll bet it fits right here. It does. So, ah! <laughs> she go figure. <laughs> so, <laughs> you think anybody's ever had any trouble with this before? Ooh. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's your fuses. Uh, there's something with no. There's multiple things not connected. And there's the OBD port. They hit it way back there. My goodness. Okay, let's see if we can even plug this in. Oh, that is, that is way back there. My Lord. It's almost like you need a Maserati specific code reader just to fit in this thing. Oh, okay. Let me put the key on, and uh, oh, the key is on. The good news is you got a full tank of fresh gasoline now, and it still misfires. It's gonna make all the difference in the world. Oh, you gotta get the gas up to the engine. Right, yeah. <laughs> Assuming the tie rods don't fall off first, right? Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, let me bring this up. We'll run through the codes, and we'll see. Uh, it's probably just one or two. Coils. Or yeah, one or one or two coils. Mike swore he's like, I got a good feeling about this. I do. I still do. You still do. I still do. You want to buy it? Sell it to you for fifty-five hundred. Fifty-five. Fifty-four. Fifty-five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what this thing's gonna be screaming about. You know what's great about this scanner? It scans everything. And you can do it remotely. <laughs> In air conditioning. <laughs> the car is way over there. We got the AC. Guys, it is 80, what is it, 88, 87 degrees? You just said it was 90. Close enough. Okay. It's, it's hot and humid. It is so nasty in Arkansas right now. So we've got eight engine codes. That's promising. We'll go ahead and get into this real quick. And of course, I'm gonna clear everything. Do you feel that the car is safe to drive on highway speeds for 300 miles? Probably not, although we've done more stupid things, but I probably not. 
probably. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking Hell those no. front wheels are going different directions, man. That's. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm a, I'm a little hesitant, but I would love to get it on the lift and get the front end of the air. It could just be a couple of tie rods, you know. Maybe it just needs inner and outer tie rods. That's not that big of a deal, right? Or is it, I don't know. It, maybe they're electronic tie rods, you know. I've I'm, never heard of I'm that. I'm kidding. Yeah. There's no such thing. Okay, we've got P1015 intake camshaft and LH main bearing crankshaft correlation. No signal. P0300, I know what that one is. That's a random misfire. P0306, cylinder six misfire. 301, cylinder one misfire. 308, cylinder eight misfire. 302, cylinder two misfire. 305, cylinder five, and 307. That's all eight, isn't it? <laughs> I think that might just be <laughs> all eight of the cylinders. That's, that's great. Um, another important one, I'm not so concerned with the braking, I'm not concerned with parking brake, tire pressure, uh, body computer, don't care about that either, but the suspension, NCS Skyhook suspension, let's see what this one says, because that, that's, it's complaining about the suspension currently as well. Um, I'm surprised, oh, no communication with NFR, invalid signal, it's a U1706. Have any idea what that means? Nope, I can Google it. I don't know what that means. So you know what Google I'm going to do? One seven zero six. Yeah. I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to quick erase everything. This is what I always do when you get a new car. Clear everything out and start from scratch and see what comes back. All right. So basically, what Mike found. Yeah. Is the loss of power to the suspension module when you turn on the key. Okay. So. Not going to worry about it. We cleared the codes. We only have three left. An NAG guide adjust, an NCS skyhook suspension, and the NFR braking system node. So I'm going to leave all of this alone. I'm going to cool off for a little bit. And as much as I wanted, I really was looking forward to trying to drive this thing back. I brought everything to do it. I mean, we got, look guys, we got the radios and we made it how far? Two miles, maybe? Maybe two miles. Maybe, maybe two miles down the road. It was a good two miles, <laughs> But for who? For, well, for me in the air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's a, you know, that's another thing. It ain't got air conditioning. That's going to oh, suck. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be melted in that car. Anyway, I would drive it regardless of air conditioning. Once you're on the highway, you got the wind blowing. It, it'd probably be okay. But that front end, I'm telling you, you want to try to drive it up the road and back and see what you think? You don't, he doesn't even, he, <laughs> okay. Well, if he, oh. if he don't even want to try it, I think I'm going to, I'm going to say it's safer just to put it on the trailer. We'll get this thing back to Oklahoma, and we can we can research this car a little bit further once we get back. It's already it's 3:10, and it's 87 degrees. It's with traffic probably five hours. Yeah. Five, yeah, I'd say about five hours back. We'll see. Well, we made it back. Uh, Monkey Wrench Mike has already gone home. We went different directions. And the car is now back here where it belongs. I got to get it down to AR headquarters. That's really where we need it to be. Um, this was a long day. Uh, Mike and I were on the road for over nine hours today picking up this car. And my first impressions are, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I just don't know whether this was a good deal yet. But obviously, we're going to have to get it down and get it on the lift and everything. Take a look at that front suspension. Try to figure out what's going on with it. Try to figure out what it's going to need to put it back together. I've already looked at a few parts. Coils are $54 a piece on Rock Auto. And then you've got spark plugs, which are like $10 a piece. And then the inner and outer tie rods are like $500. So it starts adding up really, really quickly. And the reason why is because this, this is not a, uh, it's not a Hyundai or a Kia. This is a Maserati and it's made by Ferrari. So you can't really buy something like this and expect that it's going to be cheap when it comes time to fix it. Unfortunately, this thing looks like it has been neglected. It's been abused, but it runs. Sort of, sort of. It's actually not running half bad right now. Well, scratch that. It's 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 not running well. Um, I can't seem to get the headlights to turn on. No matter. Check engine. 
Yeah, I can't. This this knob that turns on your lights is like broken, um, so they don't. Uh, I'm telling you, check number license plate. Maybe it thinks the headlights are on. They don't seem to work. Yeah, it, it, the lights are on. They just don't do anything. Okay, well, let me take you back here so you can hear this exhaust real quick. Listen to how crackly this is. Almost makes you wonder if maybe there's a catalytic converter issue. You hear that rattle? Yeah, she she sounds a little iffy, guys. This one this one needs a lot. It's uh the brights are sort of on, I guess. This is all wrong, man. <laughs> this is all wrong. Well, it is what it is. We got her home. It's actually running better than it was earlier, if you can believe that. Let me put the camera down back here, and I'm gonna give it a quick rev for you guys. Again, I know from <laughs> back here it doesn't sound good, but I promise you it's running way better than it was earlier. Good lord. Wow. Yeah, I think the check engine light's on. Yeah, check engine light is on and flash. It smells absolutely horrible. Ooh. Oh, wow. It smells like sulfur. I'm telling you. I think we got a catalytic converter issue on this. I'd be willing to bet money on it. This car has got a lot of secrets and I intend on finding out what most of them are. I wish we could turn the headlights off. It doesn't look like we can. Yeah, that smells, that smells absolutely awful. Let's go ahead and shut it down. Next step is we get it down to AR headquarters. I'm done for the day. After nine hours of driving, I'm finished. But uh, we definitely wanna get this down to the shop. We got a lot of looking over it to do to try to figure out what it needs and to make sure it's even worth fixing. Part of me kind of thinks it would be fun to maybe straight pipe it, you know? Maybe pop off the cats and the resonators and the uh, mufflers and just, I bet this thing sounds mean straight piped. I got a hunch we're gonna find that the catalytic converters are running super hot compared to the rest of the exhaust. I think we've got a problem somewhere in there. Anyway, I'm not gonna bother you with this today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video. We're gonna come back tomorrow and hopefully we can get on the lift and take a closer look at it. All right, it is the next day. I'm pretty sure you guys figured that out by now. Um, and the Maserati is finally off of the trailer and where it belongs right here in my line of hoopties and speaking of hoopties i've had a lot of you asking me about the key i've had several of you that are interested in buying it unfortunately there's no news for you um i will i will do another video at some point about this car um as of today the filming of this video i have no update there is still no title um last i heard a couple weeks ago they were you know trying to find one so unfortunately this perfectly good running and driving car um sits in the grass and occasionally gets moved so it doesn't sink into the dirt really sad truthfully that car could have made somebody a decent uh get around car and it could have made me a little bit of money so here's the uh the quattro porte and i'm sure in the comment section some of you have already noticed something wrong with this car something that's not quite right about it definitely drop a comment below if you know what i'm talking about i know about it i just want you to know that i know that something's not quite right with this car remember this is a 2009 maserati quattro porte s it has the 4.7 not the 4.2 the s means it's a much higher trim level car but there's something that doesn't fit something doesn't quite match 
Now we do know that it has the 4.7. We do know that it is legitimately a Quattroporte S, but uh, drop a comment below if you know what is off about this car. Now what I'm gonna do for you before we get out of here, um, I cannot, Get this thing on the lift we're not going to diagnose suspension we're not going to we're not going to do a lot of things in this video because we're already at 30 minutes so we're going to have to come back in the next one but i want to show you how easily and this shocked me it sat with a full tank of 91 octane fresh gasoline in it last night and when i came out to start it up to get it off the trailer she fired right up listen okay it it <laughs> it's not running great but I'm talking about how easily it fired up. It just, it started right up. And listen. You get her up in the revs, 3,000 or so, it sounds like it's firing on all cylinders. It's just at an idle that it kind of, you know, goes to... Haiti in a hand basket, but that's fine. That's fine. I still think maybe it's got a claw catalytic converter. When you rev it up like that, you can smell, it smells like rotten eggs or sulfur. It's, yeah. I strongly suspect that this thing has a failed or two catalytic converter going on but anyway the maserati made it not to where we'll be back obviously there's some new cars sitting out here i know people are going to be asking questions this is my new uh mercedes e 550 cabriolet um i loved the s550 so much that i decided i wanted the e550 the two-door version a little bit smaller with the same engine uh let me just well yeah, anyway, the S550 is still here. This car is almost buttoned up. She's almost done. There's only a couple more things I really need to do to this car to get it out of here. And uh, this will be on the chopping block pretty soon. I think coming up on the chopping block as well is the, uh, the BMW X5, the X-Drive 35 diesel. This thing, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about it. I almost feel bad buying it. It's been such a good car. It's been such a good car. In fact, I probably still have my dealer plate on it. I took the dealer plate off of the S-Class, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I took it off the S-Class and I moved it over to the X5. And uh, I drove the crap out of this thing. I did, my fiance loves it. We have taken this thing out and we've really put some miles on her. It gets relatively good fuel economy because it's a diesel and it just goes it's a great suv that i still feel like i got for a really really good price now with that said we've got a couple more cars in here but first i gotta tell you guys i got on my harley the other day and i actually rode it i actually rode it in the rain it may have been i think it was actually my second time ever riding in the rain you can see i got water spots all over the paint um it's kind of a blast to ride in the rain. It really is. I had a good time. I didn't ride it very far. I probably only went four miles. So not much of a ride, but still I got it out of the garage. I got on it and I took it for a little ride. The 1940 Chevy is still sitting here. Um, power tour is, <laughs> is quickly approaching. I've got this part to replace. This is the driver's side um, rear axle seal because it is still leaking gear oil from the uh from the seal back there so not a big deal but it's something that needs to be done i took this out to a car show i took it to brian at the auto spa and they uh, th i mean in case you can't tell the depth of the paint here they uh they they did their thing man they, <laughs> they did what they do and they made this thing absolutely gorgeous it also has a uh, ceramic coating on it now so that'll help to keep it clean power tours coming up like i said i'm still intending on going with monkey wrench mike this thing is all but ready to go at this point we've got the alignment done on it so i've still got it i've had a lot of you asking if i got rid of the 40 and i did not the 40 is still here of course the imeve this one there's kind of a big update. I've been doing a lot of research on these little EVs, not just not just the iMeve, but the Nissan Leaf as well. These old school, uh, long forgotten and abandoned uh, electric vehicles. And I think you guys are gonna be kind of surprised about an update that I have for this one. In fact, there's a couple updates. 
one of them is not so good, and one of them is actually really good. But we'll come back in a different video uh, dedicated to this car. We'll do a video on this car changing that rear axle seal. And, of course, we'll be back with the Maserati as well. And with that, I'm going to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. But I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. Truly, I was walking out there today. The, uh, the, the E550 just got delivered today. Obviously, I just dropped off the Maserati Quattroporte today as well. And when I pulled up and I, I, I parked the car next to the other cars, I looked at my line of cars. And I remember it wasn't but three months ago. I had like a 1992 Cadillac Seville um, and other similar cars, a 1985 Chevrolet Citation, you, you know what I mean, a, a, a Toyota Supra um, from, from back in the day, or sorry, <laughs> a Toyota Celica, I'm tired guys, in case you can't tell, sun's going down, it's getting late, it's been a day, but I'm looking at the, 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 the fleet of cars that I have today, and it really hit me today like how fortunate I am that I, I'm able to do this. I'm able to buy these cars. I'm able to drive them. I'm able to enjoy them and experience them. Not everybody gets to do what I do. And truly, this is, this is, this is my dream. I'm literally living my dream. And I couldn't do it if it wasn't for you guys watching my videos. So I just wanted to take this opportunity to face-to-face -face tell you, hey, Thank you for taking time to watch the videos, and thank you for making this all possible. It truly is a uh, it's a blessing, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. And I hope you are too. If you're enjoying the content, hit the thumbs up button. Definitely let me know. Don't forget to drop those comments down below, especially if you noticed something that was off on that Maserati Quattroporte. I know several of you are going to get it down in the comments below. I think also on the Maserati, assuming we can get it running correctly, it could be kind of cool to maybe straight pipe it, just see what that engine sounds like wide open. We, we could do it. We could absolutely do it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. More videos on all of this stuff coming up in the future. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.